Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ra Ra Rabbit. So in last week's video I uh, summarised all of the work that I have been doing uh, with my own personal mental health issues and lucid dreaming and uh, I was a bit knackered after doing that video uh, even though it was stuff that I've spoken about before, you know, it was nothing new, um, you know, it's always quite exhausting reliving that and I guess for the others in my head, you know, sometimes it kind of brings up things and I just need a bit of time to just rest and not really do a lot. But as I was looking through my dream journal to, uh, you know, get the dream entries or to remind myself of the dates and the dream entries uh, from that period, um, I came across a dream that I'd sort of completely forgotten about and even now I can't really remember it. Uh, reading it, it feels a bit odd because just not nothing's really coming back. Um, which you know normally with dreams it's you know you you forget a lot of dreams and then you go back in your dream diary or dream journal and you know read something and usually it kind of you just suddenly remember that dream uh, but with this one there's only kind of little flashes it's almost like when you get those little sort of flashback images um, and it was a bit it was a dream that I, I'm not sure why why I'd forgotten it or why I had I guess uh, not seen it as an important dream um, but when I went when I was reading through my my dream journal uh, for da uh, dreams about Darren I came across this entry and uh, even though obviously at the time I hadn't seen it as important or really you know meaning anything uh, I guess particularly within the last year uh, with the dreams that I've been having about Darren and trying to understand him more, this dream actually has been quite interesting to rediscover um, all this time later and to kind of realise how much, how important it was or, you know, just stuff, that, something that I hadn't quite picked up on at that point in time. So, uh, in this dream I was walking around a, a big shopping centre or a mall, as I believe you would call it in America. Um, I do tend to have like dreams about like this big shopping centre, which uh, you know bits of it are kind of taken from waking life, like places in waking life. Um, but a lot of it kind of just seems to be um, made up, you know, part of this sort of dream world. And whenever I have dreams about being in this shopping centre, you know, usually things kind of do look the same, and uh, that can be quite helpful in getting lucid because it's a uh, a kind of a recurring place um, that I'm able to, I guess, question and realise that it's, you know, part of the dreamscape. So that was what was happening uh, in this dream. I was just kind of walking around doing some shopping, sort of uh, not very exciting stuff, um, before sort of realising that, you know, I, I remembered that this place isn't real, you know, it's part of my dream world and that helped me become lucid. And so at this time, I was, you know, trying to find Darren. That was uh, during all of, like, the first time I was trying to um, get answers from him in the dream. And so I was just walking around this uh, shopping centre and it was empty. And um, I kind of regressed into a bit of a childlike state, um, according to the, the journal entry, um, and was running around. Uh, just pretending to have a gun and just firing it and just sort of uh, pretending and, and playing and messing around and um, you know I, I remembered that I wanted to find Darren so I just kind of went into the nearest shop and I found him there and this was the part of the dream that was unusual and that for some reason I just kind of discredited um, when I found Darren you know he wasn't angry or hostile the way that he normally would be he also wasn't afraid either um, he was actually quite happy and for some reason he wanted to join in with with me uh, playing around um, which again I, 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 I think I just completely discredited this dream because that was so out of the ordinary that I just figured that I don't know I obviously um, it hadn't, it hadn't stuck in my brain had that dream and as we were sort of playing and being children essentially um, the walls and the floor started to melt 
and the world kind of started to sort of sink inwards into a black hole and I remember well according to the dream I dreamed journal entry I was feeling scared and Darren was feeling scared as well and then the dream ended and when I sort of went back when I was going back over my dreams the other week and I read that I was really surprised again because I just had very little there's very little memory of that dream and I I would have thought that that I would have remembered that I don't know um but I think because Darren was sort of so free and happy and wanting to play and because that was so out of his character that I I guess just didn't think that this dream was really insightful in any way but especially with the um, dreams I've been having uh, over the last year uh, exploring Darren even more um, you know I learned that he is very scared he is very vulnerable that a lot of the anger that he expresses you know when we're awake um, is rooted from fear you know there's and I don't still don't really understand what that fear is about but he is obviously a someone who an altar that holds a lot of or voice that holds a lot of um trauma and fear around something um and that dream because he was acting in such a childlike way and myself acting in a childlike way and playing and we were playing together and everything was fine and then something happened in this dream you know the whole sort of world started to collapse and melt and you know we were stuck in the middle of that and we were both scared um it really resonated with the dreams I've been having in the last, the lucid dreams I've been having in the last year with Darren, where I've been trying to explore him more and explore his feelings of fear more. Uh, especially um, a lucid dream I had, which I've made a video about, where I decided that I would become Darren so that I could see life through his eyes. And as soon as I became Darren, I fell through the floor and I was in this sort of uh, underwater cave and you know the water was pretty much to the ceiling there was maybe that much space between the water and, and the uh, cave roof cave ceiling um, and I remember it was it was horrible because I, I instantly went into panic I was you know, trying to breathe but not use up all of the oxygen I, I couldn't grab onto anything there was like nothing around it was dark and if I did sort of manage to grab any kind of rock or side of you know, like the wall it would just crumble away so it was constantly just fighting to stay afloat in this incredibly small <laughs> you know, small like pocket of air um, and that you know fits a lot with that dream I had years ago this this thing of just being trapped or in a situation that's terrifying and just trying to stay afloat and survive and, and you know I, I'm not sure what these things relate to in my waking life or in my past but it's clear that Darren you know if you strip away all of the anger and all of the kind of malice and cruelty that he often displays is a very scared vulnerable child who is really fighting to get away from that or I don't know protect himself and protect all of us from that I'm not sure but yeah that for me was just it was interesting to stumble upon that dream and kind of be like oh shit yeah like i i understand that more now and, and it wasn't just like a bit of a random lucid dream that didn't make sense and i can just kind of oh well, i can ignore that because it doesn't really fit um but yeah obviously now that makes a lot more sense and uh, so yeah <laughs> that's that's pretty much just what i wanted to talk about today guys um I didn't, I didn't really want to make a heavy video, um, but anyway, so thank you very much for watching guys. Uh, if you would like to support me on my Patreon, feel free to check out the link in the description, uh, as well as that all my social media pages are down there. I would greatly appreciate people checking those out, giving them a like, a follow, uh, whatever. And uh, yeah, so thank you very much for watching guys. I've been Max, aka The Rara Rabbit, and I'll see you in the next video.